Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I have some stunning vintage specimen slides to share with you. So let's jump right in. Now, this is a little bit different. I was taking a break from some Christmas crafting, and I've had these ideas in my head since Tim Holtz brought out the specimen dies, and it had this specimen slide in it. Um, and I have a couple of different ideas of what I'd really like to try, but for this one, I, I kind of went um, vintage in, in that I'm going to add brown to them. I mean, they're not a really vintage color palette so much as just because I'm adding in some brown um, and because the color palette of the um, pattern paper that I'm using is a more vintage feel to it. Um, but the other colors will be vibrant because that is what I'm generally drawn to. So I'm going to make six of them. And you saw me cut them out. I used the uh, Tim Holtz specimen dies. I used just the um, slide part, the one you see there uh, to the uh, top right hand corner. And then I also used the another die from that set that's kind of cuts out these little window pieces. You see me cutting it right here. I'm going to cut six pieces of acetate um, with this because I am going to create that, you know, like window slide esque look. Um, you don't have to, you can adhere everything down and then it really doesn't matter. But I'm going to bring in dried flowers and I just thought it would look really neat to have them pressed behind that acetate kind of giving that window effect so I, I really I'm in love with how these turned out I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of them um, they were quick once I knew what I was doing but it took me a bit to kind of get there so the pattern paper is from uh, scrap boys it's the vintage legend I have had people ask me where they can purchase it. I honestly don't know. Um, in Canada, I buy it from my local supplier because they they bring it in. So my local crafty store has a supplier that, that brings it in. Um, but in the States, I'm not really sure where you can get it. But any um, pattern paper that has kind of a more subtle background would work for this. Uh, so really, I'll link stuff that I can find that is easier to find for um, Americans um, and Canadians alike. Uh, but I don't know if you can get this exact paper. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so I did bring in some vintage photo and just rent around each of the slides and um, inside and out. So that window has a little bit of vintage photo on it as well. And then I'm going to adhere the acetate down to the window piece, just because I really want to know kind of where I want to line my things up. And you're going to see a bit of a difference. Now they all have a very similar feel to them. They're going to use similar supplies throughout, but, uh, they aren't the exact same. So my first one and my last one, uh, the last one came together super easily. Uh, but this, the first one, this is my, my first one here. I, I struggled a little bit to kind of go in the direction. I could see it in my head, but I just couldn't quite get there. So bear with me. This will take me a second to kind of get going, but I think that they turned out stunning. So it works out pretty well. So here you can see that I'm bringing in some dried flowers and I also have a acetate dragonfly um, by Prima Marketing and everything I use, I'll try to link it list down below if it's something that you can still get. I mean, the pattern papers that I'm using have been in my stash for a while, so I don't know if you can get those specific ones anymore, but anything that can be will be linked down below if you're at all interested. And then I did also bring in these really pretty holographic star confetti pieces. Um, I think they're by Trinity Stamps. Um, again, I'll have them linked down below. And then I'm just going to adhere those to the background with the little acetate dragonfly. And the flower kind of just stayed on the acetate. It kind of got stuck there. So I just left it and didn't even adhere it to uh, the background, really. I just left it alone and, and it just adhered around the frame. So all of them are going to have this similar kind of look. And you kind of just saw that all I brought in really was an acetate butterfly, a dried flower, and then these really pretty um, pieces of star embellishments. So now, now we're going to get into to really decorating everything. So I'm going to bring in a bunch of rub-ons. These are the Tim Holtz eccentric rub-ons. And I also have his rub-on tool here. I just, I find that way easier to use than that popsicle stick that comes with them. Um, you can, of course, use that. I mean, you can use anything. You can use you know, anything that's going to press it down. And every slide is going to have a number. 
And then from there, we're going to have a couple of different elements. So this one's going to get a circle uh, just because I thought it would look neat. Um, but I do have pretty much every one of them has two black elements, um, which come from that eccentric rub on set. And then they're also going to have some rub on elements from the matching uh, Prima Marketing set that's also a rub on set that matches with those dragonflies. So you're going to see it here in one sec. I'm going to cut out a piece with it um, and then you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. I generally don't use rub ons, though I think that they're amazing and I think that they're a great idea to add interest to your cards. And I've started collecting them. I never use them and I don't really know why, just like I never use pattern paper. Um, and it's so silly because they they create stunning cards and, and any crafty project you're going to see from this because I'm going to bring in some more rub-ons here in two seconds. And they're just, look at these. They are stunning. These are from Prima Marketing as well. They are the, let me see if I can pronounce this properly, um, the Aquarel. Aquarel Dreams rub-ons. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but again, if it, if it's still something available, and I believe that it is, I'll have it linked and listed down below, and you can kind of check it out if that's interesting to you. Um, but the uh, acetate dragonflies and that rub-on set go together, and there's three different sheets in the rub-on sets, and it is stunning. There's so many in there, and I didn't even use that many. So I'm kind of now trying to figure out what project I can do next to use more of them because they were so pretty. Um, but and I in a color palette that I just I like love. Now I have to go and see if there's matching cardstock um, because I didn't. I I actually was in my crafty store today. Today now being you know Thursday the twenty fourth at almost three a.m. because I couldn't figure out what I was making until I was in my crafty store today and I saw these rub-ons and those dragonflies and then I was like oh I know what I'm making so I came home and started making them but it took me. Like I'm editing this at 3 a.m. and it has to go up at 7. So I have four hours to fi like finish this off, get it up, get the blog post done. It's just I'm so bad at, at working behind. I, I try to be ahead and I just I'm so rarely am. So bear with me. I will get this up in time and you guys will get to enjoy the project. It just I have a tendency to not work in advance, which I really should. So I'm going to hold this up here in a sec so you can kind of check that out, see how pretty it is. And then here's another pro. Um, product that's brand new to me. I've never used a crocodile, but I really wanted to. So I have this crocodile, and I'm using the 3 16th side, and then I have these eyelets here. They're the warm metallics, and I'm going to use the, the warm brown ones because I thought that those really fit that kind of vintage feel. And then we're going to add some kind of dangly bits here in a second when I kind of get to that. I, I decorated this one first, and then I'm going to decorate all the five other ones which really, I mean, I should have not made six of these probably, but I couldn't stop myself. And I thought that they would make stunning things to give to my pen pals. I thought these would be really fun to put in my pen pal letters. Uh, so I kind of just, I sat down to create something that I thought that they would really enjoy getting and that I would have a load of fun making. So I did have to add a couple of more of those little stars on the outside just because you can never have enough bling. That's not possible. Um, and then we are going to add here a dangly bit to this little guy in a minute. Now I know Tim Holtz makes some really cool clips. Um, and pins and and all sorts of really funky things. I don't own them sadly. So here I'm going to hold it up so you can check it out. Look at how pretty that is. And this was my first one. You guys will see here when I hold them all up at the end, we kind of pivoted and did a little bit of a different design on some of them. And I think that they turned out really pretty. But uh, so here I'm going to hang just it's just a safety pin because that's what I had and again I'm making this, you know, right before the video had to go up because that's how I roll. Um, and uh, then I had to figure out what the heck I was going to hang off of it. So I brought in the two really small tag dies that come in the collector die set. Um, and I just cut them out of two different pieces of cardstock. So the bigger one is being cut out of the little window pieces from the slides. And then the other one is being cut out of Butterfly Bliss cardstock by Paper Rose. It was again a piece that's in my stash. It, it's been out for a while. I don't even know if you can still get it or not, but it really matched that kind of color palette I was going for. So I thought that for such a small little embellishment that it would just look really pretty. And then for something a little bit extra, I also brought in the Tim Holtz heart adornments and added those as well. So, I mean, 
the safety clip is probably not the best way to hang these off of it. You could use ribbon, you could use twine, you could, um, there's so many things you could have done with this that would probably hang a bit better but you know I'm a big believer if you've been with my channel for a minute in using what you have um, and and anything can create beautiful things so I did use the safety pins that I stole from my husband's um, travel emergency sewing kit <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have to replace them or he's gonna be a little sad but <laughs> Uh, I had there was exactly six safety pins <laughs> so apparently this was meant to be so it worked out really well but here I'm going to hold them all up so you guys can kind of enjoy them and see what they kind of came together I love them so much I'm so excited with how they came together I would love to know what you guys think is this something you'd try is there something that uh, you would think would dangle better off of them than those safety pins although again I think that they worked in a pinch and look pretty cool so it really works um, so yeah I'd love it if you leave me a comment consider leaving me a like and maybe subscribe if you enjoy my content i do new videos every monday and thursday and every monday until christmas is a christmas card so thank you so much guys and i will see you again very soon bye bye for now